Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you how to retouch this type of skin. So if I consider this skin that is the rough and like this type of color. So how to edit in a smooth type, let's see. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Press Ctrl or Command J, we'll get new copy of this layer. Then filter and the portraiture 3. This plugin is another uh, plugin for the Photoshop. If you want to get the download link of these plugins, please check out my video description. From here, you are getting the skin like that. Here are lots of uh, method and lots of uh, assumption to change it out. Suppose you want to make the brightness down or up, you can make like that. And then the threshold and other stops like that. And the hue. If you want to change the hue, you can do that and the saturation, enhance, shadow highlighting everything is good. Okay, here is the dropper. If you want to choose or pick the color from here or this portion, from this portion, that's good. So don't uh, spoil the texture which is uh, like that. I'm keeping that texture like this and hit the OK button. Okay. After that, filter again and camera filter. Now I'll do some color correction and other stuffs. From here, I'll decrease the highlight a little bit and the texture. If I make it zoom, okay. I want to add some texture. Okay. Let's get three or four is good and from the whites I'll make like that and from here detailing options I'll add some luminance of noise reduction if in your photo has some noise it will help you out to reduce and then go to the hue saturation from here I'll just increase the orange luminance and the red and from here yellow as well and saturation i'll make it down the yellow as well and the red that's good and now i'll increase the saturation of the magenta and purple that's good okay luminance of the red i'll make the increase the luminance that's good from here Reduce the exposure a little bit, add some shadow, that's good. Let's see the before and after. And the white balance or temperature, I'll make the temperature like this. That's good. And the dehaze portion, I'll make the dehaze like that. That's fine. Okay. And then from the split toning, I can change the highlight color and shadow color. From here, I'll choose the proper highlight color from here that's fine and yeah that's good and from here I'll add some shadow that's good and the calibration from here I'll add some like red primary like this and green primary 13 and the blue primary like that before and after i'm saving this preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description please check it out for the resource file and other stuffs and hit the ok button let's see the before image and after image and now i'll go to the filter again and nick collection color effects pro from here i'll use another filter to make the photo fulfill editing and like that so from here i'm using the cross processing i'm using here the cross processing one and lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photographs you have to pick up that tone okay this one is good and hit okay in this portion you are getting too much light 
so for that reason i'll down the opacity and let's see the before actually before and after before and after you can fix up or you can edit your photo like this hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section and until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye